Hello everyone, with uh, P2 being released, you will be implementing maps, uh, in particular an array map and a chained hash map, uh, with both data structures details being described in last Friday's lecture. Part of the project involves making an iterator for the class, and what I've written up here is an implementation of a link map to be sort of a guide for your implementation. A link map is essentially just a link list, but its data are key value pairs. As you can see here, uh, we have a node class, and the node class has a has a dot next pointer, but more importantly, it has a simple entry object as a field. Um, simple entry is an abstract class given by Java, but all you really need to know about it is that it has key value pairs as its data. Um, you can construct it using um, the normal constructor uh, new simple entry key comma value. And then you can get its value by using dot get key and dot get value. Um, and you can also set its value by doing dot set value. So I've written up the put and get method um, down here. Um, but what we really care about right now is the implementation of our iterator. So your array map and chain hash map will have a different um, implementation of its iterator because of course all of the fields are gonna be different. But in general, uh, this is how an iterator is gonna look. It's probably going to have a field or maybe several fields. Um, it's gonna have a constructor to initialize those fields. And it's gonna have an invariant that dictates sort of when is it, like what do my fields have to be such that uh, that I've run out of things to iterate through and also what represents my next element, all right? Uh, so in, uh, also we will need uh, basically this dot iterator function within our map itself that just returns a new instance of our private class iterator. Uh, and it also passes in all the values it needs. All right, so let's look at the case of our link map. Our link map iterator takes in a node, um, cur, and cur is set to the value of front. So right now, um, cur is basically my front node. My dot next function essentially gets the current uh, key value pair and then I iterate uh, to the next node. And then I basically return that key value pair. My dot has next function, which decides whether or not my iterator has been exhausted, uh, just checks on whether or not my curve value is null. If my curve value is null, that means I've reached the end of my map. Um, and it means that I have nothing left to iterate through. Okay, so let's look at how an iterator will be initiated by the user. We have here our main function that creates a link map, and then I put in the values uh, one uh, with key one and value how, key two with value r, and key three with value u. Afterwards, I make an iterator. So this is my iterator variable. Um, and I call map.iterator, which in turn calls my link maps dot iterator function, it calls this function, right? And it instantiates my iterator. All right, afterwards, um, I basically have a counter here i, and then I go to the while loop, and as long as my iterator has a next value to iterate through, I will um, get my next value, right? Uh, and place it into entry, and then I just print out the value. All right, so if we go ahead and run this code, we should see all of the contents of our map laid out. So yes, as we can see here, um, entry one has key one and value how, entry two has key two and value r, um, entry three has key three and value u. So if you notice here, since map.put actually overwrites um, previous values, what we expect to see here is that r will now be in capital letters. Um, since we're still using the iterator. All right, so um, feel free to post any questions on Piazza if you have any, or go to office hours. And um, I think that's it, and good luck with project two.